Hey there, welcome beloved Ascension Pioneers. I have an interesting day today and this video will probably not be uploaded as I'm recording this because I had to give my computer away to be repaired. <laughs> um, yesterday what happened was I was I spilled my <laughs> my keyboard and my laptop with some juice and some grease <laughs> when I was talking on Skype. And it was a funny thing because I've noticed in my life there are no no coincidences, you know, everything that happens happens for a reason and although, you know, the next day when I saw it's not working and I can't type and basically I can't do things that I usually do in my, I mean, my zone, I have really quickly after that period of, oh, you know, <laughs> what next, I've realized that it's something that is happening not to me but through me, you know, something I'm creating myself, for myself, through myself and something that I need to come into awareness, you know, about during this. Also, there was another thing, and lately everything keeps falling away, this old, and you know, when I could go in this fear of, oh, you know, what will happen next? How will I do this? How will I handle all of it? You know, I keep seeing, it's, it's not just me, it's so many of us. I've been sitting here in my meadow, just being really authentic, and I've noticed how sometimes just by lying, I was just trying to lie on this blanket and just release everything and surrender. I've noticed how this part of me, when I when I took a nap a bit for just a few seconds, was like, oh, not sleep, you know, and my heart started to, to beat really fast. And I've noticed how I was, you know, in that mode. If, if you're not doing anything and you're not doing something, it's wrong. And it just felt so intense. And I just really felt that feeling, such an intensity being released. and. Tomorrow is the eclipse and the intensity is so, <laughs> it's just immense. So what I've noticed was just feeling that and just needing to release that and all these old feelings of struggles, of control, of hardship, because <laughs> the new is nothing about hardship. And I've been assessing my, my work, my tasks as, you know, running Ascension Pioneers on Facebook page and YouTube channel and uh, just seeing all of it, how I'm constantly in that space of sharing so much. And even though I do that, there's still people who, who don't see this and they write me to just focus on them and their personal stories and their confessions and their lives and give them answers, which I can't do. It's not what I'm here for. It's not who I am. And we can never give anyone answers anyway, you know. And lately I've noticed, I keep, I was keep saying to myself, my soul wants this, it just wants retreat, I just need to be, you know, there's this time when everything is changing for me and I can't do it all at once, it just can't, it's such a pressure and I felt this pressure now during this eclipse time and it kept, kept, kept bubbling, bubbling, bubbling to the surface and at the same time I was doing something else and I was constantly being busy and I've just seen this, that this is an old pattern you know, it's not me. And I don't have to respond to every letter I get. And I can't, basically, physically, you know, I can't. Because what I notice is with souls like myself, we have such powerful spirits, but our bodies are still our bodies. And still, they, they can only maintain certain, you know, amount of activity and sharing and giving. And a lot of times what people do when they do this, they, they're being pretty selfish, you know, not, not always aware of it. But because they, they can't see the bigger picture, that we are here mostly for ourselves, you know, for our authentic purpose. And that we, we, we need to stick to that and hear each of us the calling of our soul. So when people try to push our attention and try to draw us in their lives and dramas, usually it's about drama. What they're doing is they're, they're, they want to feed off your vortex. They want to have a shortcut to a certain answer. They want to have that space of just someone else, you know, giving you all these answers and to just please share with me or, you know, please drawing this attention without hearing their own call of the soul. You see, that's what we need to do. We need to hold the space for ourselves. And so many times I've noticed I was so strong in my spirit and I was in my life in general, even before I started my Ascension Pioneers journey, I've always been there for everyone else. And I've just kept struggling through that because basically a lot of times and I've been talking about this with my friend on Skype yesterday. We had a lovely conversation about this. And it's kind of like a collective pattern that a lot of us souls who came here to assist took through our bodies and in our cleansing process. So now this is being healed and whole and 
just purifying through us and we just no longer feel the need to do this that's why sometimes we create these scenarios you know like my laptop scenario i don't know how long i'm gonna be without my computer and i don't know when i'm gonna have the chance to put this video out but it just need to trust and i need to commune with my soul and be in nature and be outdoors as much as i can because that's how new guidance comes to me and i cannot give from an empty space you know i cannot feed everyone's everyone's hunger i was always nourished from within that's who i always was and i can only offer this through being this through staying in this vortex not by putting myself too much from it and i've noticed lately this couple of days i was just out there so much externally and then i look at my grander cycles you know behind this and the whole year when i've been struggling so much through some of those things and always the one who do who does everything and do it alone and you know i'm fine i i can do everything on my own and basically it's just not that way in the new you see we can have support from as many levels as we can but we need to really know that this is how it's supposed to be that we we can we can only hold the space for ourselves and the new, unique purpose we are because we are a purpose it's not what we do these are just our tasks you know these are just whatever you do and i'll tell you an example later but what i what i want to share with these people that i mentioned that keep drawing attention to them and not being aware of it is they don't even have enough observance through their own eyes of the soul to see to see such individuals it's not just myself but there's many who just constantly give of themselves who share of themselves and you know if you would be really objective you would see that all i do is do this to share and if i take even a tiny bit less i'm already out of bed a bit more not less i'm already with you know within not that perfect balance that equilibrium that i am in spirit so i've noticed today because i had a beautiful dream showing me my spiritual place and purpose and the origin of my soul and this understanding that was so intense and then i woke up and then i had this event happen to me not to me <laughs> through me and i've noticed this conflict you know between my spiritual life which is all in bloom and i feel so beautifully blessed by this knowing and all this awareness that keeps permeating me but at the same time my physical life i felt like it was this chaos and everything falling apart and this whole year it's because these patterns just need to fall away and we need to be in that space of splendor of bliss of joy the news all about joy and if something does not bring you joy it's not in your path it's not your purpose because like i say our tasks are not our purpose you know me running ascension pioneers is not my purpose it's just one of the things i do here while i'm here of sharing i'll give you an example the dream that i had tonight was basically showing me that I am this power soul that I wrote about two years ago, almost, <laughs> almost that long, and I just—it was just so beautifully expressed because I can even put it to words because it was a telepathic transmission, and it started with this friend which I talked to yesterday, looking at this oracle card which was all pink and it was all about pink, which is for me divine love. And then it was not even about her she just disappeared and just this divine voice started channeling through started sourcing through and the words were just beautifully expressed and they, they were addressing us and they were addressing me specifically and it was shown that these souls who always had this feeling that where they are like for me it's here in slovenia in europe that we always felt so guided to be here no matter how we felt about the environment because we chose it to be here and these specific souls who just feel like this where they are is the center of the world for them it's like this is the place i need to be this place is so important and i've always felt this and it was so beautifully shown that these souls are power souls who need to be here to to anchor a certain frequency and that will always be their main purpose not what they do not what they share this is just what comes along but i was beautifully shown this that this is the most valued essence that i am this is the i am that you are that we are and each of us has that specific soul plan and then in the dream it was said you are the ones who have done it before anyway and this was also what i wrote about almost two years ago and was you have done it before in these key timelines here on earth and you know what you're doing you always knew you know 
And that's why we feel so guided to do certain things, even if our ego is saying, oh, but I wish to do that. Maybe that would others do. And But your soul is just telling you no. And things won't happen to you or for you because they're not meant to, because you're meant to be where you are. And this is the journey that I'm on, that I've always been on. And sometimes I've been crying and saying to myself, but why nothing changes like this? Why it's no more, you know, more active. But at the same time, when I asked my heart, do I wish it to be? It was no. I like it this way. It's just the ego calling out because you get in that mode of comparison. So what was also shared in the dream was that um, there were specific timelines and um, to me it was shown Atlantis. So no wonder probably why that psychic two years ago when we spoke, it was more than two years ago now, she said to me this high priest energy and she said Atlantis. And I didn't think about it much because I didn't have any memory of it. But tonight in the dream, I was fully aware and was like, yeah, that's me. That was me. I'm there. You know, I was there. I don't know how, but it just felt the involvement in the whole divine plan. And it just felt so beautiful. And it was all pink through, through this entire time of this guidance coming through. Everything was pink and was all radiant. It was just like speaking directly to your soul, you know, not to ego. So... When I've been going through these situations now lately, when I don't know what's going to happen next, I don't even know what's going to happen with my webpage, because I, you know, I don't have now anyone who would support it technically. <laughs> it's just like this grand surrendering I need to really embrace, and it's not just me. That's why I'm sharing this, because sharing is a part of what I love to do. Not who I am, but what I love to do. And I love you all guys, I really do. And there's so much effort I put into making all of this, sharing all of this, and it's not even an effort. But when it gets to the effort part is when, and when I'm not authentic, is when I try to reply to everything and, you know, be there for everyone. And this is the old me. This is the human pattern. It's not the divine soul that I am. Because the divine soul that I am knows that this is just supporting sometimes people's laziness to, to get up and do their own homework, their own self-exploration and going within. All that I have to do is just share in a unique way that I feel guided to in every now moment. That that's all I need to do. But the rest, my spirit does anyway through me. And that is the beauty of simplicity of life that was shown to me. And if you have these insights for yourself as well, do follow them. Take it into your heart. Don't be a struggler. Don't be a pusher. Don't be a controller. This is the way of the old. And when you hear that soul calling you, and if you don't answer it, the calling will be even deeper and deeper. And sometimes the things that will be happening to us will be intense because we're not listening. And we're saying, yeah, 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 I hear you hear the soul, but you're not answering it with the action that applies to it. And then you keep running away from it and you say, yeah, I just need to finish this one little thing. And that's how I was. I was like, okay, just this week I'll finish these things and, and then I'll do that. And then I'll have my retreat and then I'll do that. Because I said I'll be going on a holiday, but it wasn't really a holiday. I just took a few trips. I was still working. I was still sharing. It wasn't like a real holiday when you just unplug and just go commune with soul without any external circumstances and environments. And I didn't do that. And now I've noticed this and I said, okay, even amidst everything falling apart, I can't find solutions right away and right here and right now. They need to come in, in their own time and place by me just breathing it through and just relaxing. And, you know, we should know that surrendering to love means trusting that life supports us fully, but we need to be in that space of constant letting go and detachment of everything that is because everything will eternally transpire anyway. You know, it's all infinite expansion. So when you outgrow something, it dies and then something new can come and be reborn. So this is this is what I wanted to talk about today. And these callings of the soul, you know, cert at a certain stage, they're more like nudges or they begin as whispers, then nudges, then pushes, and then they just throw you off the cliff and you're just pushed into it. You know, and how it started with our awakening as well. You know, some people uh, went into certain relationships that were very destructive that got us got them to awaken or they got sick and this is how soul calls to you when it's really time to wake up but let's just start really living in a way that we already answer it when it when it's still a whisper when it's so pleasant that's the soul alignment that is of the new you know the old is that intensity and constant movement and um, constant struggling because this is not the energy of the new earth the energy of the new earth is whatever does not bring you constant bliss and joy 
is just not it. It's just not in your alignment. It's not in your purpose. And you are your purpose and you are living your purpose when you are in alignment with your soul. And when a lot of people, when they say, oh, you have a nice soul, it's not how it is, you know. It takes time to embody soul because soul is love. Soul is pure love. And whoever's not living that pure love is not yet completely embodying their soul and it's just how it is. So we need to know what things mean when we say them. And we need to follow that in integrity. And when we're not aligned, we need to say to ourselves, okay, what am I missing here? You see? Okay, this was shared through my vulnerable self. And um, because I always like to do that, because being authentic can assist as many others as well. And if I feel guided to, I'll keep doing it. And uh, I'll be just journaling, video journaling, and I'll put these videos online whenever my internet and computer stuff <laughs> provides me again. So from my heart space to yours. And I love you all very much. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.